Hey, how's it going, people out there? This is um, Wake Up. Right, today I'm going to talk to you about Prince of Persia. I didn't pay for this film straight off. I will only pay for films that when I watch the trailer and I think looks good, I'll pay and I'll watch it. This thing look shit. I mean, a slow motion snake. You've got to be fucking kidding me. I was surprised when I found out it was actually Jerry Bruckheimer. Because with the slow motion snake, I would have thought it would have been someone like Snides doing it. Since Snides has fucking slow mo owls as his next film. You know, about like, the flying. I mean, you need to check out The Last Guardian if you haven't seen it. How the mighty Snides has fallen. My god. From Watchmen, he goes to slow motion owls fighting other owls. Like, it's just ridiculously stupid. But anyway, about Prince of Persia. Yeah, I was surprised. Um, this thing was just terrible. I was surprised how shit it actually was. You know, I mean, I was more entertained watching fucking Indiana Jones 4. And watching... I was more entertained watching Iron Man 2, to be honest. I mean, at least Iron Man 2, it had the flashing lights. So, at least... And I can marvel at the special effects. This thing was fucking bad. People went on about this thing about saying how... Um, was it Alfred Mona's character was hilarious? He was dull. People went on about saying how the free running was amazing to watch. I've seen better free running in the Jackie Chan movie. Go check out fucking Rush Hour. That's got better stunts in it than this piece of shit. And to top it all off, they take a guy like Ben Kingsley, give him eyeliner, and make him wear a dress. So this guy, for the whole film, is walking around looking like a transvestite. It's, and it's like, Ben Kingsley, man, come on, you did Shutter Island, and that was actually pretty cool. You were Gandhi, right? And now look at you. What, what, what are you doing this for, man? And the answer to both of those questions is money. Okay. But just this, this thing, right? I, I hate the fact that we've gotten now to the stage where you've got certain fans defending the film and saying, Oh, no. You just thought the trailer was bad. You can't really judge it because you haven't seen the real thing. I mean, what the fuck? Where, how do we end up in this culture? The trailer is supposed to sell the film, you know? And, you, I mean, how many cases, in all honesty, people, has there been a bad trailer for a really good film? I mean, think about this now for a while. How many times? And tell me, go on talk about boards and tell me. Tell me if I'm wrong. Tell me how many bad trailers I've done to really decent films. Trailers are supposed to take the best part. You know? But anyway, about Prince of Persia. This thing, the acting by Jake Gyllenhaal was fucking atrocious. I mean, people gave Russell Crowe shit for his English impression. Uh, his English accent in Robin Hood. Dude, fucking Jake Gyllenhaal sounded like... I don't know, it was just... I felt almost insulted... You know, it was just like, oh, all right, mate, how are you doing? I'm Prince of Persia. He sounded like a fucking thug. He's like, yeah, all right, we got this dagger, yeah? And what we're going to do is we're going to find this and that. And it's like, what the fuck are you talking about, mate? What What are you doing? Just, just, you, no. No. And that princess. What the fuck was going on with her? People gave Megan Fox a hard time. Fuck me. This princess was terrible. Whoever that fucking princess was, that actress, she was only there so blokes could have a tug. The tug factor. That's it. She's just there to be beautiful. That's it. She couldn't fucking act. Just, it was atrocious. Megan Fox is a better actress than that lady. And that's fucking saying something. Because Megan, Megan Fox, she's only in it for the tug factor. <laughs> but just, oh my god. And then just, even the slow-mo dagger time, right? The slow motion dagger time, I've seen it, you know, I mean the CGI was bad, and the fact that you could go back in time with this dagger, I'm not even sure they could do that in the games to be honest, I know that in the games, from talking to Agent Orange, who by the way, would not watch this thing, because she said, you know what, as a fan of all the games, I'm playing them, I will not pay my cash to see this movie, because it is not the Prince of Persia, that I know and love. And the fact that they've redone, um, what is it, the um, Prince of Persia game, and they've made the character look like Jake Gyllenhaal, she says he's the biggest slap in the face. 
and it, I'm coming at this from a film perspective, okay? So as a viewer, it was it was crap. I mean, for a Jerry Bruckheimer film, it was terrible. You know, at least I I I'm never bored when watching a Jerry Bruckheimer film. Even whilst watching Pirates of the Caribbean, which story wise were crap, the visuals they had me. You know, like just like in Iron Man, the suitcase, Iron Man suit, and just watching that suit was a fucking awesome. But the film just totally fell flat on its ass. But just, mm, this thing was just ridiculously bad. I mean, ostrich racing. Ostrich fucking racing. Are you joking? Really? What am I watching? Is it Pirates of the Caribbean? Or fucking, like, where, where's Jack Sparrow? And then, funnily enough, Alfred Mona comes along, but in, like, the Jack Sparrow type character. And it was just, oh, my God. And you even had the, um... What was it? There was like the weapons of mass destruction plot. And if you could not have seen, if you didn't see that come in, then you, my friend, are a fucking retard. Because like, yeah, we, we've invaded this country and they've got these weapons. Oh wait, no, the weapon's not there. What's that look like to you? That looks an awful lot like Iraq and Afghanistan to me. You know? Just, oh my days, this thing was terrible. This thing was utterly terrible. And like, the assassin! The assassin! That, the, right, if I can find a picture, you'll be looking at a picture of this assassin guy right now. This sums up everything that's wrong with the film. A CGI flying dagger. A man throwing a campy type pose. Looks like he's doing the fucking YMCA or the Macarena. You know? And just going, Rawr! It's like one of the most ridiculous, stupidest things I've ever seen in my life. You know? It's just, oh my god. This thing! Alright? And to be honest, I can't find... A single thing that I liked about this movie. I had to watch it in three stages. Like, I downloaded this thing and I had to watch it in three stages because I just got bored and my mind wandered. I mean, it's a real hard struggle. And like, it was one of the films that I actually, the end sequence, I gave up watching it. Like the last, like the last third of it, I just stopped. And if anyone gives me any shit, just saying, yeah, mate, well, because you haven't watched the whole thing, then you can't really review it. Bullshit. There's only a few films that I've ever walked out on, and that was fucking Watchmen after watching that on Sky Premier. I stopped watching that at like half an hour, because I found it disgusting. There was um, Flintstones, Viva Rock Vegas, where I actually walked out of the um, cinema. And that's it. They're the only films that I've actually had to stop watching, because of how bad they were. Just, it was, it was, this thing, I can't even say how shit this was. Like I I wouldn't even I wouldn't even give it a rating I'll give it a zero. Like all the money they spent on it was just a waste. There were no good effects. There were no good graphics. I mean there were there was stuff in this thing right where it looked like they robbed it from Assassin's fucking Creed. You know. And yes I realised Prince of Persia was the first one, but the Eagle Vision and when you're standing on top of a building and the camera pans around like that, I'm sorry that was Assassin's Creed. When you see. There's a picture that I'm showing you now. When you see this guy jumping from the balcony. That is Assassin's Creed. I'm just waiting for the daggers to come flying out of his sleeves. That's Assassin's Creed. Textbook Assassin's Creed. But anyway. Oh man, yeah. And let me talk about this free running, right? In the, in the ground of reality. Right, there's a scene at the beginning of this film. Where the guy runs up like a 50 foot wall. A vertical 50 foot wall. And he's got his own little army. Who are all free runners. But yet, they need a rope to be thrown down to them so they can climb up. And they're supposed to be all equal free runners. This makes no sense. This makes no sense. So as a film, avoid this at all costs. And people saying that this is the best video game adaptation of all time are fucking stupid. I mean, check out Mortal Kombat. You are never bored whilst watching Mortal Kombat. In fact, if you're not sat there with a big fucking grin on your face all the way through Mortal Kombat, then you're either a chick... Or gay. Anyway, sorry about that. Not that it's bad to be gay or what have you. Anyway, that's Wake Up's review. And check out www.talkaboutworld.net for the real fan. Bay out. And. Are you crazy? Could have killed me! You're welcome! Every one of us has been devil! Yeah, probably. Fucking awesome. <laughs> How cool is that? really good actors in there. I know. Oh my god. It's gonna be fucking sweet. That's gonna be quite good, isn't it?